it is informal to have i in the denominator so it's kind of like rationalizing denominators all right um but we still need to have the answer in this form a plus bi if they share a uh, a denominator two terms then we can split it up maybe that didn't make sense if i have something like and we'll, we'll just go back to some 950 stuff is like 5 minus 8 over 3. I could split this up to be 5 thirds minus 8 thirds, right? So that's how we're going to make this. Is if that A and 8 had an I, then I would just put the I right there. See, now it's in this form A plus BI. This would come after doing all the work. Uh, if we have a denominator like this, then we can split it up. All right, there's a quotient, which is just a fraction, because we have two binomials being divided. All right, so this is where our conjugate thing gets really good, because I've got that 4 minus 3i. That doesn't mean I can just multiply the 3i by i um, and get rid of the i that way. What I'm really going to need to do is I'm going to need to multiply this by its conjugate. Kind of like as if there were a radical there, right? We multiplied by its conjugate. So that would be 4 plus 3i. Uh, but if I do it to the denominator, I also must do it to the numerator as well. So if we look at these, and yes, this would be in parentheses now. So I can use FOIL on, I'm going to do the denominator first. So, all right, so here I've got 4 times 4, which is 16, so I am skipping some steps on this. Here I've got 4 times 3i, which would be a positive 12i. I've got a negative 3i times 4, which is a negative 12i. You see how those two middle terms, again, from the conjugate, that it's going to cancel those two middle terms. Then I've got negative 3i times a positive 3i, that would be a negative 9i squared. Now let's look at the numerator as well. So 6 times 4 is 24, because this one is not a conjugate, so nothing's going to cancel out. I've got 6 times 3i, which is a positive 18i. 2i times 4 would be a positive 8i. And then 2i times 3i would be a positive 6i squared. All right, now I, well, let's combine some like terms and change those i squareds to negative one. So I got, in the numerator, I got 24 plus 18i plus 18i, uh, 8i would be 26i. And then I would be adding a 6, but that i squared is going to become a negative one. And then in the denominator, I have a 16. Again, these two middle terms are going to cancel out. And then I would have minus 9. And then I've got another i squared, so that's a negative 1. All right. Well, in the numerator, I still got that 24 plus 26i, but that plus 6 times negative 1 is going to change to a minus 6. And this is all over... 16, now I've got a, it would be minus, but that 9 times negative 1 makes that a negative 9. So I can really just change that into a plus 9. All right, now I'm just looking to combine like terms. So in the numerator, I've got 24 minus 6, which is 18. And then I've got plus 26i. And this is all over 16 plus 9, which is 25. And this is where that comes in with the breaking up of the two fractions. Uh, because this isn't, this isn't technically A plus BI form. Because I've just got one full fraction, right? So what I'm going to do is change this up. I've, I've still got 18. And I'm going to add the 26i. But both of these had common denominators of 25. See, now this does take on this form of A plus BI. 
Uh, now, yeah, and that, that's a good question. If, if we could simplify 18 and 25 or 26 and 25, one or both, then we would simplify them. But in this case, neither of them can be.